Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Basil Krokov and for today's video, listen, we are doing a video on a topic, on a category that I have never done before. Today we are reacting to a supposedly true, true story animation and this particular specific video we are reacting to is about a guy that prefers to live in the virtual reality other than the reality itself. So I'm actually pretty excited to see how this entire story is going to play out. And if you guys are excited for this video and you guys would like to see more and you guys would like to support me, drop me a huge thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. It'll honestly help out the algorithm as well as my channel very, very much. If you did, thank you so much. And with that said, let's check out today's video. Now let me just get my headset, okay? Let's go. My name is Gabe, and I'm 24 Excuse years old. Excuse what? Do you ever feel like you're living another life? No. I'm no longer able to understand where the real world begins and where a virtual one ends. I'm a hostage to technology. Okay, okay, okay. How hard is it to find the difference between the reality and the virtual reality? Okay, it's not that hard. My girlfriend had left me. We'd been arguing a lot lately, and of course, we had our problems. Wow. But to leave me? I came home from work, but there wasn't anything to come home to. Not our things, nor our plush cat. She took everything and left only a bottle in the middle of the room with a oh note. Oh my in it. god, okay. How corny or like how stupid are you to leave a wine bottle with a note in it like the, oh my goodness like just put the note on the door or like on the table you did not have to put it in a wine bottle no she had other dreams she can't take it anymore she'd been offered a cool job in another city blah 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 and here i was stuck in this place all her girlish nonsense was short, but we had been together for two years. Taylor broke my heart and left me, what, an empty bottle with her damn note in it? For a long time, I refused to grieve for my relationship and soon found a replacement. True, it wasn't real love. It was virtual. My best friend couldn't watch me suffer over a girl. Really? So told me of something that forever changed my life that a virtual girl would never leave me. To do this, you had to buy a virtual reality glasses and a game. Everything was very simple, but not cheap. I went to the store and tested the VR system out. It was so cool. I took home my new virtual girlfriend the same day. Her name was Maya, and she was like a real girlfriend. Almost too real. Taylor slowly... Okay, okay, all right. So you're telling me that you're going to come home from work, okay, quickly put on your goggles, meet up with this figure of your imagination, ask her to make you food and you're going to eat virtual food? No. Okay, you're still going to have to prepare your food yourself, you're going to have to clean the house yourself, you're going to have to work the kitchen yourself. She's just there for your imagination. You're going to have to do other things yourself, you know. But my point is, there is no point in having a virtual relationship. If, in, in my opinion, I mean, I don't know what's y'all's opinion, but like that's, that's mostly my opinion, you know. We began to disappear from my head and from my heart. After all, Maya did everything that I said. She was so attentive always asking me how I was and what I was up to. Also, she constantly confessed her love for me. No one ever oh my God, that is something that I would get so sick of, okay? Everybody just the entire time messaging you, oh, you're so pretty, oh, oh, oh. Honestly, just like I thought it was raining. Just like telling me that in general, I'd get so annoyed, okay? Never treated me like that. Taylor and I had just constantly sworn at each other. 
For her, I wasn't good enough. But for Maya, I was the perfect guy. It was so cool. But I didn't know okay. what a disaster such love would bring. I was completely stuck in VR reality. For hours, I watched as Maya exercised, danced. She had a perfect body, like a supermodel. But one thing was missing. Touch. Oh, I'm this not is where my friend helped word. me out again. It turned out there was already a VR suit, which would give me the opportunity to feel Maya's touch. The suit was pricey, but I remembered where I could get the money from. Taylor and I had put our savings in a bank. We had dreamed of a great trip together, but she had left me, and I still had access to the account. I needed the money, then I would know what Maya was capable of. But virtual girls are even more insidious than real ones. I bought a suit, and now our relationship reached a whole new level. Maya touched me, caressed me, stroked me. She was ready to fulfill all my desires, and I fell out of my real life. It was euphoric. I couldn't tear myself away from Maya and the new sensations I was experiencing. I told my work that I was sick, turned off my phone and other instant messengers. Now, okay. no one will bother me. In this is exactly where I don't believe this entire story because like where are you gonna get more money from okay what if there is this like chamber that you can like step in and you can physically see her in front with the where if you quit your job you're gonna get thrown out out of your apartment you're not gonna be able to get food your stuff might be taken away from you you're gonna end up homeless just because you wanted a virtual relationship the fuck? Okay, no, that's fine. Maya. Still wasn't enough. I was head over heels in love with Maya, and then I found a way for me and Maya to truly be together. At first, I thought about how to make Maya real. There were options, such as a robot, but it would cost a crazy amount of money. You just there were still lots of basically quit your this job. Is not what I wanted. But then I realized where are you getting money of from Maya into my world? I could just enter hers. How articles and videos that proved a living person could completely transition to being online. Huh. My mind had to be trans. If that is true, can someone please teleport me into GTA five? OK, or teleport me into Minecraft or anything. OK, if that was real, come on. That is not real. Referred to a computer and then to a server, but there in the vastness of virtuality, we could be together forever. Ooh. A digital, endless, and happy life. There was only one problem. When moving online, my body would become completely unnecessary. But for Maya's sake, I was ready for it. Oh my I was God. So captivated with the idea of our life together online that I talked with Maya for hours. She always supported me and agreed with everything I said. She understood me like no one else. I feel like a relationship is not supposed to be this perfect. I don't know if y'all can hear the interruption, but there's a plane, there's a fan, there it's rainy, I mean. Okay, to get back to my topic, I think that personally a relationship cannot be this perfect, okay? Your compo your other what what the one you are dating should has have their flaws, you know. You, you you can't be this perfect, you know. I practically stopped eating. Exactly. Didn't go out. After all, soon I was going to become a digital being, which meant that all earthly desires could be switched off. I wrote a note asking to be relocated to Maya's virtual reality when I stopped breathing, and I was happy as ever. Maya told me I was a real hero. And then I stopped understanding the difference between virtual reality and the real world. I awoke in the hospital without my virtual goggles, suit, or Maya. My head hurt wildly, and a panic came over me. I wanted her so much. Why had they taken her from me? A doctor looked into the room you and need to announced, calm down. Your girlfriend is here. Maya? I asked in hope. But it wasn't Maya. It was Taylor. I began to Bitch, yell get out of here. Oddly okay. Enough, 
and was get silent. out. That wasn't like her Ooh. at all. I fell silent and decided to listen. What a moron I had been. For the last 10 days, I haven't eaten anything, but I drank a lot of alcohol to relax me before entering my new virtual existence. I was intoxicated. I had been drunk and delirious, then in virtual reality. It turns out that when Taylor had wanted to take half of our savings, she had discovered that the account was empty. She knew the password to my Google account, went into it, and looked at the history of my searches and purchases. Girl! That is a disturbance of privacy, okay? Privacy! To her horror, she discovered my plans to live in virtual existence and leave this world. She immediately flew out to me and managed to get here just in time. It's good that she still had the keys to the apartment, because when she arrived, I was... Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, okay. I'm gonna take back my words. You are so sweet, girl. Okay, thank you for checking up on him. Okay. Take him back. No, don't take him back. Send him back to Maya, okay? He wanted this virtual relationship, and now he's gonna get it. Lying on the floor, unconscious, wearing virtual reality goggles and a strange suit. I was pumping out, but Maya had to go away forever, just like my alcohol addiction. To be honest, I had drank a lot before Maya. It was because of this that Taylor had left, why we swore at each other all the time. Finally, it dawned on me why she had left her farewell note in an empty bottle. It was all my fault. Oh. More precisely, my addiction to drinking. I had thought there was nothing wrong with a couple of bottles of wine at breakfast. How a couple of bottles. If not for Taylor, then Maya and alcohol would have dragged me into virtual reality forever. I still love you, Gabe, Taylor told me, and I just want to help. Taylor and I sold all those virtual reality gadgets and went on a real trip. And you know, the whole trip, we were completely offline. Can you live without the internet no. for a week or even a day? T okay. Okay. Okay, all right, let's do it. On your work like your out. Okay, anyways, I really wanted to know who write it, who wrote it, whatever, my English is not very good for that. I want to know who wrote the script, the story, okay? Okay? Because it was so good. I really did not think that an 8 minute video can turn into almost 15 minutes of reaction time, okay? <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna go now, please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, I love you guys, and honestly, I enjoyed this video. If you guys want to, be sure to click one of these videos, I especially handpicked them out just for you. Please watch either one of them, and also subscribe, my logo will be somewhere right here. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.